I want to give a, a big, huge thank you to Vans and Steve Van Doren. Obviously, I, it, it's safe to say that without Steve, there's a lot of stories that would not be told because he's supported all of the stories that we've told. And if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have told any of them. So, <laughs> thank you, Steve. Thank you very much. I also want to give a, a huge shout out to our editor, Christian White. I hope he's here somewhere. He, there he is, right there. He donated several weeks and countless thousands of dollars in his rate being cut so that we could make this. He is safe to say without him, we would not have made this film. Now we're going to get our Q&A, so give it up for your moderator, Chris Noreco! I have absolutely no right or reason to be on the stage talking to this group of legends, but I am here nevertheless, and I'm very honored, so I'll introduce them one by one. Uh, first, Mr. Tony Alva, the man of the hour. Yeah, Tony! Tony Alva. I'm going to bring up six there. Rick, coming to the front. Rick Chanowski. Cohen, Buddy Nichols. Jeffrey Blaine Grosso to the stage, please. My favorite skater as a child, my favorite human as an adult. I get no share. Do I get a share? I get a share here. One more round of applause for these guys, and if we can all agree, that was. It is my story, and my story continues, you know. It's right in the moment right now is what's happening, you know. It's just like y'all are here, and this is the present, and the present is the present. So we're just taking it one more step. It's one day at a time. Um, when Grasso was talking about, you know, the transformation, you know, where you end up, you either end up in prison, dead, or insane. So the cool thing is we're here. We're pretty sane, relatively. <laughs> And we're talking about a creative project, you know, a creative project that since I first saw it and was involved in it has evolved to something that's really, really cool. And uh, I think a lot of the, I mean, it's a team effort, but at the same time, a lot of the credit has to go to the editing because the most fantastic change that I've seen in this version of it I saw tonight was in the editing. Uh, let's talk about how this thing turned from a sweet little love letter to this amazing piece that you guys created. Steve Van Dorn, birthday present to Tony Alba for his 60th birthday. <laughs> 14 years and, late. And so that's how it started, and that was, what, you're almost, you're gonna be 62 in September, right? Day and time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, possibly. Anyway, that's how it started. Uh, Steve said, you know, just a, a little project, and he said, you know, maybe the, the the thing Rick and I heard, and Grosso heard, they said, maybe elevate it a little from your below cable access normal style, you know? So like, all right, we'll try and bump it up a notch, get Josh Brolin in there, you know, or whatever. Um, maybe get Kasoy in there to speak eloquently, you know, instead of the big guy. Um, but, <laughs> that was a joke, you know? It's, it's a trip, you know, the way that my story has evolved, because it continues. The story is, you know, it's still, it's not over yet, you know? It's something that, you know, um, I share with guys like Steve Caballero and with Christian Soy. It's not what you've done, it's what you're doing. It's like, that's what tells the story. I mean, it's all good, all the stuff that we did, and, and the stuff with the partying and all that, what Jeff and I have been through and are still alive and in recovery, that's definitely a part of our story. But you know what? Those aren't the glory days. The glory days are tomorrow. The glory days are the week Organically progressing and evolving 
and the best days are yet to come, especially if you keep surfing, you're playing in a good band. I have my family here, the people that I play in a band with you are here, and we are truly connected spiritually in our family, and part of creation is being creative, and being creative is connected to a higher power, and that's how guys like Jeff and I stay sober. Tony, what do you think the peak age in years is for a skateboarder? <laughs> Um, how old is Elijah right now? See, it's hard to tell. I, I would say that you could peak anywhere between 17 and probably mid-20s. But I think as technology has evolved, um, you know, in the future, I'm talking like kind of more, into, I guess, during my heyday. But I think as we look into the future, I can't really say because the bottom line is I still surf almost every day. And then on a good day, I surf and skate in the same day. And I'm 61 years old. Age doesn't mean that much. The number doesn't mean shit. It doesn't fucking really mean anything. All it means is that you've spent that much time on this planet. But the bottom line is that, like I said in the end of the film, it's right here. It's your heart. Where's your heart at, you know? And where where's your soul connected to to that part of you, you know? Um, actions speak louder than words. Go out and skate. Go out and be connected to that heart, that heart that's beating so hard for the joy of life, for the joy of having one more day. I want to live life to its fullest and live it clean and sober and have a consciousness that is higher than high, higher than any drugs or alcohol that I've ever been able to use in order to get to that way. ever apologize to Stacy Peralta for <laughs> cutting him off on that wave? <laughs> Fuck no, and I never will. I love Stacy, don't get me wrong, but I don't need to sweep my way into a wave. I don't stand up with a broom in my hand when I surf. I actually still paddle into waves, you know? And, uh, see, the reason I can tease Stacy is because Stacy and I are brothers, and we've been on the same team for life. And Stacy has strengths that I don't have as well. He is an amazing man, and he is just so, um, he's so humble. It's crazy. He's the complete opposite of me. He's one of the most humble, gracious, intelligent, and just evenly killed guys I've ever met in my life. As long as I'm still surfing, I will be connected to skateboarding in some way, shape, or form. And if I can go out and paddle and catch a couple waves and come in, I can definitely get on the skateboard and do whatever I gotta do just to have fun. And that's really important in my life. And then I look at some of these gentlemen that, that I've looked up to since I was, you know, nine, ten years old, and, and uh, God, it's just, it's just the best, man. Skateboarding fucking rules. And it's about doing what you really love and doing it because it comes from your heart, you know? And, and this is the story. And this is what we're sharing with you. And the cool thing is that Buddy and, and Charno, when I met Charno, I mean, Charno's out of his mind. He still is out of his mind. But the bottom line is that when we met because we were skateboarders in Philadelphia and on a crazy just, you know, day where he was running and hitting potholes on purpose and stuff, just, just to like, for adrenaline, we had a connection. We had a connection as brothers because we both rode skateboards and because we loved it. And that's the connection I have with Jeff Grosso, everybody that's up here, Steve Van Doren. This guy is the ambassador of fun and one of the most amazing things ever was that Caballero and Christian and I were in Italy in freezing ass cold weather we had a we had a line of kids outside in the 1500 kids probably in milan on a freezing winter day and they just wanted to get a poster signed by a legend well steve van doren went out in the cold with a little tray of appetizers and stuff and went up to every kid in that line in the freezing cold and made sure that nobody left without getting their poster signed and he was bringing them food and bringing them snacks and saying hello to them and shaking their hands and giving people like love, you know? Like straight up family value love from Vans. And that's how we got things done. That's how we got this film done. That's why guys like that are 50, 60 plus years old are still active professional skateboarders because we've got a guy like Steve Van Doren that believes in us. And there's no doubt when it comes to the faith and the hope and the love and tolerance as is exemplified in his life, the way that he lives, that it doesn't reflect back on me, every team writer in Vans, every employee that works for 
and everybody up here on this panel. There's a special gentleman in the room that I'd like to give a shout out to, Mr. Wynn Miller, for his contribution. And Raul Vega is here as well. Raul Vega, is, he might not be here, but he was here. Raul was here. He's an amazing photographer. There's a ton of good photographers. Ray Flores is here and has been making skateboard films for many, many, many years and was a huge help on this project. Um, obviously, he's in the film, but he also pointed us and gave us and, Ray was you know, super pointers. And the guy who did the AWA logo, logo is here. Yes. Eric Monson. One of the raddest moments in skateboarding is the Alba Posse photo. What's the story behind that photo? Walk us through that day, talk about it. One time that we were all together and having a really good time was in Chicago. Cold day in Chicago. We went up on the roof of that building where the brick building was. We had all the guys there in one spot. An amazing photographer that had a super cool technique for shooting a black and white photo. He used a silver tone almost like a Polaroid um, camera. But that photo came out beautiful and it was a moment, you know, it was just that moment that he captured the, where the team was representing not only themselves individually, but representing the team as like Merv said, an American family. And that's what you got. You got a photo of a bunch of guys that are skateboarders and, and badasses, the Harley, you know, like the, the Hells Angels, Harley riding skateboarders of, of skateboarding. But, they're a family, we're all brothers, you know? And there's no other CEO in the shoe business today that would do what Steve does. I mean, Steve has a heart of gold, you know, and it, and it shows in his actions, you know, actions speak so much louder than any words. The thing with Steve is, Steve has taught me how to be a part of a family. I've always been from dysfunctional families. Um, Steve's like a big brother to me and he's a mentor to me, you know, he showed me like what it's like to really work hard and and do it for the right reasons and be of service and then you know that that will come back to you in so many ways you know and that's what he showed me steve is like i'm family to steve i wore my jacket tonight that says we're all van dorns and i'm proud to wear that jacket you know just like wearing the zephyr shirt you know i'm proud of that and the other thing is that um he's in, he's basically given opportunities to guys like robert vargas and to krishna soy and Steve Caballero and Jeff Grosso, and the, the list goes on. I mean, he has given our careers an extra decade, if not more, of longevity because of the fact that there is no limit to what you can do in his eyes. Steve Van Doren, SVD, the man, he's the guy. I have to thank you, everybody that's here, everybody here, because you, all the skateboarders, adopted us. My dad started in 66, in about 74, 75, Tony, Jay, Stacy were going into our stores and buying our shoes. And we started flowing some shoes. Tony would wear out one shoe, so if the shoes were six dollars, you can have that for three bucks, no problem. That's when we started giving the shoes to him, but because of the skaters, we're here in 2019, being able to be a company that my dad started. He's 88, he just went on a trip with me over to Europe for the first time with uh, having a great time and taking him over there so he could meet people. But it's because of watching Tony, Steve, Christian, all of our riders all these years take the time and sign autographs and say hi to kids one-on-one -on -one that we as Vans are still alive today. It's because of skaters, it's because of everybody here. You go to any of our board meetings, anything, everything always, always goes around skateboarding. Whatever our purpose is, our purpose is you guys out there around the world adopted us, and I'm fucking loyal to you forever.